Perhaps we should take a look at a cup of tea differently. I'm a big fan when it comes to trying a variety of tea. For those of you who want low to no caffeine in your tea, let's talk about your options of decaf and herbal tea. I'm a pharmacist. Welcome to Track MTM. Now don't be fooled by the word decaf. In any type of beverage, when it say decaf, usually it contains low levels of caffeine. Doesn't mean there's none. So if I want to enjoy a cup of decaf tea, would I still get all the benefits that a tea has to offer? The short answer is no. Unfortunately, during the decaffeinating process, some antioxidants are actually removed. The content wouldn't be exactly the same and there might be other chemicals and additives that are involved. And I noticed that drinking a lot of tea on a regular basis, decaf tea don't taste the same as normal tea. I mean, it's not awful, but <laughs> your taste buds can definitely tell a difference between decaf tea and regular tea. On the other hand, herbal teas are generally scented or infuse with like flowers or fruit or have multiple blends of everything. Some examples of herbal tea include mint, rooibos, chai, chamomile, that's very popular, and many more. Tea can help with like, let's say irritation, headaches, nervousness, insomnia. Let's take a closer look at mint tea for an example such as spearmint or peppermint can aid in like digestion and nausea. For me personally, I don't like mint tea because it, the smell can be very strong for me and I don't like that compared to other tea. Peppermint though particularly, it can help with like headache associated with cramps and breathing problems because it can open your sinus. Now rooibos comes from South Africa, one of these known as red tea. It has many relaxing effects like reduce irritation, inflammation. Well, it says naturally caffeine free, 100% natural ingredients. I personally like this because it opens up and it comes in one of these individual packages. And it's very convenient, I find. And typically I can re-steep this like two to three times. Three times is the maximum though because after that it can get very diluted in a way and it won't be good anymore. You can't even taste the herbal aspect of it. This red tea in general can have essential minerals like iron, zinc, calcium, potassium, fluoride, as well as vitamin C and alpha hydroxy acid. Chai tea on the other hand has that cinnamon taste and it smells marvelous. It smells wonderful. The ingredients usually include like a blend of rooibos, which is the red tea I mentioned earlier, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, coconut flavor, and the last ingredient is decaf black tea. Basically, it's like a red tea with exotic spices such as like paprika, black pepper, Chinese star anise. I mean, who knew that tea can incorporate spices too? And yep, if you want to make a chai latte, I would warm it up with some milk. You can do soy milk or regular milk. Swirl some whipped cream on top, sprinkle on some cinnamon, and it's a great replacement for a chai latte from Starbucks. And it's a fraction of the cost. When we're talking about herbal tea, you also have, let's say, sleepy time tea that's very popular as well. I mean, I'm the type of person that would enjoy a good cup of tea right before I go to bed. And I don't want to consume any kind of caffeine before you go to sleep, right? I mean, for some people it doesn't affect them, but for me personally, it does. So herbal tea is a great, great solution for this. Typically, chamomile is the top of the list when it comes to sleepy time tea. That's one of the main ingredients that they always have in there. It can also help with relaxation as well. 
chamomile belongs in the daisy family and has like anti-inflammatory anti-bacterial properties as well and here's also another tip i typically don't drink caffeinated tea or products in the late afternoon typically around like after 4 or 5 p.m i just stop that's because I want to get a good night of sleep and rest and having caffeinated products can tend to mess up my sleeping schedule. That's why I always have herbal tea at the ready when I want that soothing cup of tea right before bed. <laughs> I drink tea pretty much like around the clock. From the moment I wake up, I mean I drink like jasmine green tea to when I go to bed, I drink like herbal tea. When I'm on the go though, I prefer these individually packaged tea, like I mentioned before. That way you can just kind of put in your purse, ready to go, and you don't have to store it in anything. It comes in its own little pouch. Just tear this off. You do need hot water though. And typically you can easily get that at like Starbucks or uh, if you go into like a restaurant, they don't have your choice of tea. And it's easily accessible. That's the reason I, I do it. So I don't have to go around and look and say, oh my gosh, I need my tea. Is it caffeinated? Is it not caffeinated? I don't have to worry about it. I mean, this type of tea comes in this form, but there are other ones. For this one, it's kind of like the another herbal tea. So it's chrysanthemum and it's very, it comes in these, like a dried up flower basically. And for these um, type of product, I tend to just drink it at home just because it's more convenient that way. I don't have to carry it anywhere with me. Yes, tea is great. It's fat-free, gluten-free, and low in calories. Nothing can beat that. You have so many options to consider when it comes to drinking tea. And a lot of times when people tell me, oh, I don't want caffeine in my beverage, and that's okay, opt for an herbal tea. And you can kind of like assemble your own kit, make it personalized, and cater to your own taste. You can even make it in like a, a gift basket. I mean, I've given away like tea as presents before and people will tend to really enjoy that. And it's never too late to get started. I'm ready for another cup of tea. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna get some more after this video. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up so I know to continue this series for you. Bye-bye for now.